and welcome to Last of Wise channel. And today I just want to talk a little bit about uh, year experience uh, of using um, my phone. And here it is. Uh, it is Android phone, Android uh, version 4.2.2. It is a Sony Xperia L. A pretty nice phone, not uh, very uh, that uh, high in sense of uh, processing power. Uh, but uh, it has 1 GHz uh, dual-core uh, Qualcomm CPU, works just fine, uh, gigabyte of memory, 8 gigabytes of flash, out of which you can use uh, 4 gigabytes for your files and uh, a gigabyte and a half you have for uh, system uh, partition uh, for your applications. And it has uh, this kind of nice screen, it's not uh, HD or anything like that, but still 800 something by 480 pixels and while it has a, a 4.3 inch screen, uh, which I actually very really like, uh, like a lot, because yeah, it's not huge, I don't like huge screens, uh, I just something portable, which I can easily uh, just uh, put in my pocket and yeah, you can't really notice that pixelization uh, on it uh, when it's just 4.3 inches uh, wide. Uh, so, what else? Uh, it has a 8 megapixel main camera here with LED flash, which you can use while video uh, shooting, filming, and with a separate uh, flashlight uh, or torch apps. And you have this kind of shitty camera on front, uh, it's just VGA resolution, 0 0.3 megapixel, and uh, to see anything you uh, need, or camera with uh, kind of not uh, tiny light, but a lot of light uh, put on you, for example, like this stuff. And without it you can't see a thing. But the good thing you can activate camera uh, from locked screen with this button. I like phones with separate camera buttons. Uh, that's why. And uh, you can just switch over to this camera. You can see that even with a lot of light it doesn't handle quite well. But uh, main camera with 8 megapixels nice for blogs, for social media networks, uh, so it's kind of nice. And in sense of wireless interfaces we have not only standard Wi-Fi and uh, Bluetooth, but actually it has uh, NFC, you can't really use NFC in Belarus, at least in Russia you don't have any places to use it, I don't think so. And uh, it's not that widely spread anyways, but yeah, it has NFC, which I turned off, because uh, just to get uh, some juice from my battery. And the battery, by the way, is removable, you can remove it, and I will try to get off the uh, back cover, which is not very handy to remove, so I don't really do that uh, that often, and I don't really need that. Uh, to do that often. As you can see, you can remove your SIM card, and this is full-size SIM card, it, this is the main, or the one of the main reasons why I bought this model of phone, uh, Sony Xperia L, because I don't, didn't want to uh, get another SIM card with micro SIM standard or something like that, and didn't want to cut it down to micro SIM, uh, which you can basically do with your SIM card. So yeah, uh, that's one of the reasons, and the other reason is a removable battery. So if this battery will die, I can easily just uh, replace it with another one. So, so that is very very nice, at least I think so. And uh, the phone is uh, pretty good looking too, especially for a cheap phone like this. Uh, for example, Samsung has kind of more power for a dollar, but uh, you also are basically getting a soap box, something like shape, shaped and uh, looks 
exactly like soul box that is very ugly, at least to my taste. And here you have pretty cheap phone that actually decently uh, looking. And uh, I actually use it with uh, this uh, kind of case thing with the magnet lock. So you have this thing, just unlock, you can put widgets on lock screen, but I don't do that uh, because I don't need that. The main stuff is here, the other stuff put in folders so with the categories. Yeah, it's by category, so if we want to go on social media, just click social, and you have your Google+, your Twitch, your Instagram, your Twitter, Tumblr, uh, stuff like that, and other stuff is Google stuff, uh, which put into Google, because I don't use this actually stuff that often, and uh, here I have uh, YouTube, uh, separate uh, thing, uh, for statistics and uh, some other stuff for example Total Commander has a nice uh, app for Android that is completely free so very sweet to use uh, dual panel uh, file commander which even supports plugins uh, to use uh, to connect to Windows networks for example or to get uh, to FTP servers and stuff like that. So, very sweet, nice and tiny uh, application. And uh, uh, to the fun aspect, I have uh, this couple of things, Skillful Pixel Dungeon recently installed, another stuff is Minecraft Pocket Edition and uh, Unreal Spectrum uh, Portable. Uh, that's a Russian Spectrum emulator. This is, at least on Android, it works pretty fine from what I've used. And I don't want to spend uh, a few dollars on uh, Spectaculator, or how it's called. Uh, as you can see, while it's uh, not too powerful, I mean the phone, just a dual-core CPU, but uh, even with the dual-core gigahertz CPU, you can have this smoothly running Minecraft. As you can see, the controls is pretty nice, nicer than, for example, in mine tests, uh, Android version that's basically Minecraft clone done in open source with more like a structured uh, way of programming. So it controls and uh, performs kinda in a good way without any lags, glitches and uh, slowdowns. And uh, this actually emulator which I want to show you. It has a nice feature uh, and the feature is that it is uh, able to retrieve files from various uh, ZX Spectrum kind of repositories. So you can have your virtual Terados, that's Russian uh, storage of various, uh, a lot of ZX Spectrum software and games uh, and World of Spectrum. Let's try to go here and look at something Maybe we will find here a Doom that I uh, kind of made a little review uh, a few weeks ago. Yeah, Doom. That's uh, maybe... I'll try that one. We'll try to show it here. No, it's an old version, so I don't want to reuse it, but it works fine. And with that kind of screen, screen you can even program uh, stuff in basic, not very handy, but in touch screen, but still. And uh, so, yeah, it's a good uh, looking and good performing phone for not a lot of money. So, if you want to uh, get uh, on public your opinion, about your phone, you can do that, maybe link your video or link your channel in the comment section below if you uh, have done that. Uh, I, very, I will be very interested to see what phone you are using uh, currently. Uh, and yeah, uh, that was me last of worry with my Sony Xperia L. My previous phone was Sony Ericsson, uh, 
Xperia Mini ST15i. Uh, and thanks for watching. Uh, see you in the comment section in and in the next video.